David Shiraz with your news briefing. Aussies are waking up to sore heads and large numbers of COVID cases. New South Wales recording 22,577 cases. Victoria's recorded 7,442 cases. There have sadly been another 14 deaths reported overnight. Well, federal cabinet papers from two decades ago have been released today, as is always the case on January 1st. This year, they're from 2001 and reveal Australia's response to things like 9-11, the Tampa affair and a request for Aussie troops to be sent to Afghanistan. John Howard, RPM at the time, speaking to Nine, reflecting on the decision. Well, that reluctance had nothing to do with the invocation of ANZUS, nothing at all. To the best of my recollection, it, it, it was not a big issue, but I would have always been concerned about the impact of anything like that on Indonesian opinion. It's now estimated up to 1,000 homes may have been destroyed by fast-moving wildfires in the U.S. state of Colorado. Tens of thousands of people were evacuated from the area between Boulder and Denver on short notice as high winds fueled the blazes. And the search will resume for a teenager who went missing while swimming on the New South Wales south coast yesterday. Police say two boys aged 15 and 16 went for a swim in the Shoalhaven River around 6.30 last night when the younger of the two disappeared under the water. Divers joined the search for the boy overnight. Live music returns in 2022 with Concert in the Clouds, a unique music event with no cues or last-minute cancellations. Concert in the Clouds, exclusively on Listener. Another win for the Sydney Thunder in the BBL overnight despite their COVID woes. Four players tested positive yesterday, but it wasn't enough to stop them from taking a strong win over the strikers. Jason Sanger was a standout with an unbeaten 91, helping the side to three for 187, also taking his maiden BBL wicket. And Spaniard Rafael Nadal has taken to social media to confirm his intention to contest the Australian Open with a slightly cryptic tweet. He shared a photo of himself standing on court at Melbourne Park with the caption, don't tell anyone, here I am. A cloudy day across the limestone coast to start the new year, adding for a top of 32 in Mount Gambia. More grey skies tomorrow with a top of 24 degrees. Our listener app is the new home of your local news. Join up to listen now.